Learning to Reflect is a blended learning module. These are the notes for the Semester 2, 2021, Work Portfolio Package at the Australian National University, Computer Science Tech Launcher Program. These notes are to be used in conjunction with online exercises and workshops. The module is designed to help students to develop capabilities expected of working professionals to identify their development needs, how they will acquire these and to reflect on what they have learned. This module was designed by Tom Worthington, an honorary senior lecturer in the School of Computing at the Australian National University. Tom is an award-winning educator, a fellow of the Australian Computer Society and the Higher Education Academy. Careers consultant, Tempe Archer, and the team at Australian National University Careers can assist with general advice on preparing a portfolio. Tempe is a professional member of the National Association of Graduate Careers Advisory Services and the Career Development Association Australia. On the Waddle site you will find a set of notes in an electronic book. These contain content intended for instructors, as well as students, to be used in conjunction with online exercises and workshops. You don't have to read all of this. You will be prompted by the Wattle system and your instructor as to what part to read when. This semester, Tech Launcher is in hybrid mode. A classroom on campus has been provided for workshops, or you can join in via Zoom. Please fill in the survey form on Wattle to indicate which option you intend to use for each event so we can better plan. This module focuses on the third evaluation theme of Tech Launcher, reflecting and showcasing your learning in the course. And the last two learning outcomes apply communication. Effective transmission of decisions and solutions using appropriate media to professional and lay audiences and reflection. Demonstrate and reflect on leadership and creativity as an individual and within a multidisciplinary team. The Work Portfolio Package WPP, assignment makes up 14% of your final grade, and the first three workshop exercises contribute 2% each, making a total of 20% of your course grade. The Turnitin text matching tool can be used to help check the work submitted is original. Students can run their work through the Turnitin practice site, which provides more detail of the service. The course consists of four parts, one topic per part, with one workshop for each. There are assessed tasks after each of the first three workshops. The four topics cover what career you want, career prospects open to you, preparing a resume and cover letter, lastly answer selection criteria and provide supporting evidence. This module uses the university's Waddle system for communication. This includes the dialogue tool for one-to-one -to -one communication about the administration of this module. The workshop is used tool for the workshop exercises and the assignment tool for the WPP assignment. The Zoom video conference tool is used when a classroom is not available for the workshops. The Turnitin text matching tool will be used to help check the work you submit is original. You can run your work through the Turn It In practice site, which also provides more detail of the service. New to Tech Launcher this semester is the Computing Leadership Seminar Series. We aim to bring alumni and friends to campus or online to share their career perspectives. This semester we have Eleanor Kellereva, CEO and founder of Gips Tech, on the 21st of September, and Savash Sedhine and Shi Yang from Twitter on the 28th of September. All will be in conversation with our own Professor Lexing XC, leader of the Computational Media Lab. The seminars are open to anyone, but each is followed by a workshop for Tech Launcher students. In the workshop you learn more about how to plan for your own career. If planning to attend via Zoom, please book separately for the seminars. Three workshops will be held to help you with the Work Portfolio Package Assignment. Please note the workshops are not lectures, they are real-time for your active participation with other students. Read the notes and what is required for the assignment before attending. Come along to the campus, if you can, or join in online. Bring along any questions and work on the assignments. 
be prepared to express your views of the quality of the work of your fellow students. There are no marks awarded for the workshops, but there is 2% for the exercise due after the first three. If you do not attend the workshops, you may have difficulty with these assessment tasks. This module is more than just doing assignments to pass a course. The carefully designed series of exercises are to help you to develop capabilities expected of working professionals, to identify your development needs, how to acquire these skills, and to reflect on what you have learned. This is something you will need to do throughout your professional career. For further information see the Learning to Reflect website on Wattle. To learn more about the educational approach behind the design, look for Reflective Portfolio Course at the Higher Education Whisperer blog.